with items that we can afford to fuck up a, a few times with, just so we get the hang of it. Alright, so... We've already saved. The winding tunnel. Let's, uh, arrange. Right. So, which ones are we keen to... Okay, speed drink. We need another hero drink, obviously. We need another vaccine. But, um... Earth Mallet would be nice, yeah. Stardust, obviously. Wait, wait, um... And Megalixers, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it on the Megalixer. Yeah. So, la 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 la. I don't think I can go this way. Dead end. Let's just go back. Because the setup is ready. Okay, we've just got to do it on the... Uh... Yeah, this will work out. This will work out nicely. W item. Um... Megalix the one. Make looks at two. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm just lurking like always. Very nice to say, eh? Very nice. Until I can force you to play Metal Gear. Oh, I've got Sapro beer and some cheese. Very nice. Sounds delicious. Okay, um... Might as well do potion. This enemy can only cast slow. So... achievement for uh, doing the W item glitch. Maybe there is in the extra set. I know what you're thinking. I'm a cheaty boy. But it's not that simple. I just like having 99 of items. Feels, feels good, man. Feels real good. OCD showing, yep. Notice how I um, have 79 elixirs. There's a, a little glitch within the um, the whirlwind maze, which we exploited to get uh, roughly 80 elixirs. And that was a very dirty little glitch. Oh no, you can only do it to um, consumable items apparently. Which is why I'm I'm interested to know if I can do it to the sources. I don't believe I can. Otherwise, there'd be no reason to grind in the um, Sunken Gel Nika. Yes. 
Uh, I'm not going to bother with things like antidote. I've got enough money to get soft and these sorts of things. So let's just go for the big prize. Yeah, Rem uh, speed drink. Yeah, we'll go for that one. I'm always very apprehensive with um, two items. I have messed up in the past. And it required me to reload a save. But... We'll get two of them very soon. Spice web. So much for buying one Stardust for 8,000 battle points at the, uh, the battle square. More like you can suck my donkey dick. Alright, uh, what else? Yeah, this one. Gameplay right here. This is not a bug, this is a feature. Oh, your days is here. This one's a nice one to get multiples of. Not tremendously difficult to farm. I think it's a bound fat. You can find them near the uh, forgotten capital. But um, hey, when you're able to dupe items like I'm doing right now. The Dragon Fang is also quite a rare item. Not super useful from, from memory. Yeah. I would have liked to have gotten that one, but I think um, I think that's a drop from an enemy that you, I can find um, in the battle square, so I'm I'm not too worried. Finding this one again though. Good, I didn't mess it up. Let's see if we can have a look at some of the um, sources. Yeah, as you can see, they're not usable in battle, so we can't copy them. Useful. 
remedy is also useful. So I'll be getting quite a few of them. Um, I think they're like a mid-tier um, reward when you do the battle square. Yeah, when you don't have a Suna equipped and you just need the status effect gone, you pull out that remedy. You pull out that remedy, Kerr. That remedy will make it all better. But obviously the, the filthiest use of the W item trick is getting 99 Mega Elixirs. I mean, after you get 99 Mega Elixirs, you're pretty much, like, nothing's gonna stop you. Like, every, every battle, Mother 3 is pretty good. I know, I want to play it one day. Um, I played and completed Earthbound decades ago. Um, I'd like to play the original Mother on uh, NES first. But, uh, yeah, we're a long way. We're a long way from that. Ooh, Confu. Yep. Don't need to have 99 for everything, I don't think. Uh, Earth Mallet, yep. Respectable 50. Respectable. The um, hero drink's pretty nice as well. Protects against fan transformation. Okay, so like status effects won't affect you during your battle. Pretty nice, obviously. God damn, I love looping. Oops, okay, that's enough. Um, what else? Around all allies. It's pretty useful. In certain situations. Because, I mean, in most situations, you're going to have enemy skill equipped. Or at least one person's going to have enemy skill, and then, yeah. Uh, sorry, I missed what you said about Mother 3. Have you played any? Yep, I I've played um, Earthbound, which is Mother 2. But I haven't played Mother for on the Famicom, or the NES. And, obviously, I'd like to play one. Then I'd probably like to play Earthbound again. Um, and then I'll play Mother 3. I'd like to play them sequentially, if possible. People can force uh, me to play them in the uh, in the uh, redeem store that I've got going, or I can eventually redeem myself because I allow myself to also get points. I figure I'm the one playing these games most of the time, and many people don't people <laughs> redeem their points. So, the Earthbound Zero ROM is the leaked localization, and pretty good. Sounds interesting. I'll give a look into that. Hello. Mini. Fire damage. S mine's pretty good. I think this one's. I think this one's better than. Can't recommend the original Japanese one. A little unfair. Oh, you mean, um... Just just a bit difficult? Like... I know what you mean. I'm struggling for words at this time of night. TS bomb, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. 
probably do some duping later. Get all the um, consumables up to 99. Uh, Wargong. That'd be a nice one, actually. Berserk on all opponents. Fire 3, that'd be a nice one to get as well. I don't quite know where to get them. Swift Bolt, again. We want. Okay, I don't really need darkness. I would love to get another cauldron. I think the only chance I'm gonna get is in um elsewhere. Yeah, it's pretty difficult and it hasn't aged well. The fixes they made in Earthbound Zero are for the better, and there's some extra content. It got cancelled last minute. Oh. It got leaked back in the 2000s. Interesting. Yeah, I'll definitely look into that. Maybe add it to the redeem system. Sounds pretty cool. Imagine, imagine cancelling a mother game. Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Alright. Alright, let's, let's hit him with an item. <laughs> It's gonna win the item. Uh, what one are we gonna do? Right arm. Okay, uh, potion and then right arm. What a disgusting material. I've got 99 megalixes. and the um, Megalixis man. Well, a lot of RPGs didn't come out after 1991 in Western countries since the market uh, didn't really test positive for them after Final Fantasy 4. Yeah, I mean, if they released um, a game like Final Fantasy 4 now, like, people would be all over it. Like, people didn't know what they had back then. Um, yeah, it really was a transitional period, I think. Um, did I get everything? Uh, yeah, I got everything. Yeah, I got everything. So, I'm going to use a... What's it called? A starlight. Stardust. <laughs> Have some rocks from the sky. That was... That item's pretty shit, isn't it? Wow. I didn't like that one. So, what about Dragon Scale? That one I farmed to 99 myself, legitimately. This is a disgusting item. Yeah, it's like Aqualung. That one puts the herd on. I think there was a strong association with computer gaming and um, RPGs, yeah, definitely. For example, say Ultima and Wizardry, yep, yep, definitely. Ah, the Beholder, yeah. The market changed with Nintendo, it being an entertainment system with family fun games and independent Japanese developers, yeah. 
Yeah. Like, um, the genre of RPG, it's, it's changed over the decades and over the generations of, uh, ever since consoles became like a big thing as well, yeah. You're right. Final Fantasy 1 and Dragon Warrior did well, but only to the computer nerds, whose little brother had a Nintendo. Mm. I mean, Final Fantasy um, did well domestically in Japan, and to Nintendo, that's all that mattered. Vincent, what the hell are you doing? This game is what changed everything. I agree. This particular game, yep. Because like, even I knew about like um, you know, the SNES JRPGs, but this was the one where everyone knew or was informally introduced to what JRPGs were, and everyone was like, "Holy fucking shit! I want it." My first experience with this game was, um, um, I rented it, uh, $7, it was an overnight rental from the Blockbuster, and, um, I played all the way up to the fight with Rufus on the top of, uh, Shinra headquarters, and then I had to take it back, and, uh, as soon as I could, I bought the game, um, one of my favourite games growing up, and, um, it was a game that came quite late into my, I guess, video gaming sort of life. Because this game came out in 1997. I graduated from high school in 98. So. This Ultima Cloud. I mean, well, I can, I can just uh, have one Mega Elixir. On the opposite side, Sega changed the market a lot too by continuing to offer a market for arcade gaming and games for a maturing audience. The older kids who had a Nintendo bought the Sega Mega Drive with Sonic rather than the Super Nintendo. Yeah. You, depending on what crowd you ran with, a lot of people, like if they knew your friends had Super Nintendo, they would buy a Sega. Uh, for the express purpose of kind of like mixing it up, you know, bring over their system or you bring your system over to their house. And back then, the, the systems were way more portable. Right, so we're, we're back to here. <laughs> Thank you, W item. Okay, now because I completed the Wu Tai side mission, they give us the option of like, okay, like we'll, we'll peace out if you want. And I kind of want to do that, but they've got great items to steal, so we're gonna fuck them up. What the hell is Reno doing? He's like, woo woo! <laughs> yeah, let's end it. These boys are going down real quick. Super Nintendo didn't have a lot of challenging games like the NES. And I didn't do this. Ah, I didn't do this fight. I just said, let's be friends. Oh, nah, they got some nice shit. So we're, we're, we're definitely taking everything they've got. Okay, Eleanor's got like a Minerva, I believe. Okay, that's nice. Suffering, very nice. Oh, 
Oh, okay. He's holding out. Get in there, Naki. Get Reno. Ow. That's it. Get him back. Get him. You bet that hurts. Oh. That's it, Red X. Red 13. That's it. Alright, uh, have an Ultima. Breathe underwater and uh, uh, flare. Let's call it a day. <laughs> it's time for us to go. Green is going, and Elena, see you later. Running away. Uh, I don't consider a lot of NES titles to be too great, besides the RPGs. Interesting. Mario World isn't as good as Mario 3. Oh, big claim. Big claim. But I can see how... Yeah. I mean, I personally haven't played them. So I'm looking forward to the chance when I do play them and try to complete them. Donkey Kong Country looked cool at the time, but the Sonic games... are... are a lot better than any action game on SNES. That's a big call, Mark. That's a big call. I know that you're a massive Sonic fan, but um, I personally have not um, finished any Sonic game. I don't have a lot of experience with um, Sega. But that's changing. That is changing. Thanks to emulators like RetroArch. I mean, with RetroArch, I can emulate pretty much any system from my childhood, so... It's a wonderful wonderful uh, piece of software. I, I do have hardware. I'm missing a, uh, a Mega Drive though. I'm missing a Mega Drive and I'm missing a Mega CD. A Sega CD. Eventually I will get them. And eventually I'll, when I get myself set up, uh, once I move out, um, yeah, I would like to, to play with some uh, real hardware again. But for now, RetroArch is very accessible. It just works. Excuse me while I just uh, have a Mega Mixer. <laughs> so dirty. <laughs> 